the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. It is main event time in Madison Square Garden. The challenger approaches the ring general Duda. The number one contender, the man who just a few weeks ago laid Drew McIntyre out on his own home soil in Glasgow, Scotland. Message was sent that night, and he was upped, and tension certainly rised between the champion and the challenger. A brawl ensued just 48 hours ago on SmackDown. McIntyre got the best of Gunther in the end, a Claymore kick laying out Gunther inside the squared circle, but one battle does not equal tonight's war. This will no doubt be the toughest test in Drew McIntyre's world championship reign yet. A man who has only suffered one loss since December the 9th of last year when he debuted on SmackDown. Gunther is in to give McIntyre the fight of his life for the big gold belt. Dare I say the superstar of 2023, the Scottish warrior, this fire breathing son of a bitch, the world heavyweight champion, Drew McIntyre. Elimination chamber equaled victory. The main event of WrestleMania put the gold around the waist of McIntyre. And ever since that night, on Saturday, February the 25th, earlier this year, McIntyre has retained the gold over John Cena, Braun Breaker, Edge, Randy Orton, Austin Theory, AJ Styles. But can McIntyre get through the ring general and Gunther here tonight at Survivor Series? 267 days. The big gold belt has been around the waist of the warrior and McIntyre has proudly waved the flag of Friday Night Smackdown. Will that reign continue forward or is his kryptonite looming at ringside in the number one contender? Dare I say, one of the biggest main events in Survivor Series history, one of the most anticipated matches ever to take place in these hallowed halls. It is your Friday night SmackDown main event. Sunday night, November the 19th, 2023. New York City, Madison Square Garden. This is Survivor Series and the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Introducing the challenger from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunter! And his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. The stage is set for your main event. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Drew McIntyre hands over the gold and will he hand it over for the very last time? 200. 67 days as champion. But will it be and counting? Or will that man Guther end this historic reign tonight? We are underway here at Survivor Series and Guther trying to come hot out of the gate with the drop kick as this world championship main event has kicked off. I expect a fire under both of these men to get the advantage early on and set the tone for this main event collision. McIntyre looking to inflict some major punishment in the early moments. 
with a submission hold locked in on the ring general Guther. Neil McIntyre, smart as a whip. No, he wasn't gonna get the victory, but trying to inflict some punishment. And there's the drop kick Guther looked for after the opening bell. Look at these two titans, King Kong and Godzilla, clashing in New York City. This is gonna be very interesting to see as we mentioned who gets the advantage in the early going, or if this is gonna be a situation of back and forth momentum swinging. McIntyre has taken a beating in some of these world championship defenses. And as we saw in the video package moments ago, he has made a championship reign out of rising like a phoenix. Just when you think he's down and out, hits a claymore, knocks out his opponent, and McIntyre lives to fight on. But I don't know if that is going to be the right strategy and the right way to get around a guy like Gunther, who is 18-1 since debuting on SmackDown December the 9th of last year. Oh, wait a minute, McIntyre going back to the well with the submission hold here on Gunther, trying to take out the arm, possibly take out the chops, the strikes, the power bomb. A lot of Gunther's arsenal coming from the strength. McIntyre smart to try to pick a body part and work on it, but Gunther trying to come out swinging. McIntyre avoids it. Look at the strength. Oh no, power bomb to the outside. McIntyre has his foot firmly placed on the gas pedal and is coming at this matchup 100 miles an hour. And that's exactly what you gotta do against the ring general Guther. I do not fought Drew McIntyre for coming at this matchup full head of steam. You were in there with one of the toughest men to ever stuff foot inside a SmackDown ring. And McIntyre taking the fight to Guther on the outside. This has been advantage Drew for the most part since the opening bell. You know, it's almost an unintentional as McIntyre stomping out Guther at ringside. It's almost an unintentional nod of respect. McIntyre recognizes the man he is in the ring with tonight. Recognizes that Gunther is as tough as they come. Former NXT United Kingdom champion for 870 days. You heard that correct. Defeated Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania earlier this year. Kicked off the United States Championship reign that led him to his one and only loss this past August at SummerSlam against Cody Rhodes. McIntyre just outsmarting Gunther that time. There's a cover by Drew to retain the title, not just yet. You gotta wonder who has the advantage in this matchup as well. I mean, Gunther 18 and 1. McIntyre has not lost since December of last year. McIntyre has been on top of SmackDown. 2023 has been the year of the chosen one truly fulfilling the prophecy of his destiny throughout this year as the World Heavyweight Champion. McIntyre, wait a minute, boom, oh, man, big time counter by Gunther, scooping a slam at ringside. And the ring general ragdoll and McIntyre momentarily, which is not something you see very often, but if anybody can hang with McIntyre in a power game, look no further than the leader of Imperium. And you know what, I gotta give credit where credit's due. Gunther coming out here tonight without Giovanni Vinci, without Ludwig Kaiser, realizes this is his biggest match, not only since joining SmackDown, but of his WWE career, and realizes if he's gonna beat McIntyre, it needs to be decisive. However, Drew McIntyre not looking to allow that opportunity for the ring general. Nice counter by Gunther there, like him or not. Did his homework coming into this matchup. Has had some counters for some of McIntyre's best offense thus far. Some stiff shots. You expect nothing less. McIntyre set of the road. Snap German dropped right on the back of his neck. Kick out by Drew. Momentarily there, but obvious damage done by the ring general. And Gunther again going to the well. Gunther not afraid of repeat offense, especially when he feels he has the momentum firmly in his hands, will do anything he can to beat the hell out of his opponent. Oh my goodness. It was an STO variation, variation, excuse me, on the outside. Now what does Gunther have in mind? Look at this. 
McIntyre powerbomb, Guther to the outside earlier, and now an eye for an eye, a powerbomb by Guther on the outside of the ring. And if that maneuver took place in between the ropes, Gunther may be going for a pinfall right now, but elects to wear down this Scottish warrior. I mean, no disrespect to some of the ring, or excuse me, some of the names Gunther has been in the ring with, because he has been in the ring with some of the absolute best in this industry, from Cody Rhodes to Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, Rey Mysterio. But at the end of the day, this is Gunther's biggest challenge to date, no doubt about it. Same goes for McIntyre to be said. I mean, two superstars, two athletes at the top of their game, colliding in full force tonight as Guther, my goodness, what a slam. McIntyre's trying to roll to the outside, create some distance. It's not often you see two guys like this at this caliber fighting it out for one of the most prestigious prizes in this industry, the World Heavyweight Championship that has been held by so many greats. The Nature Boy Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, The Rock. The list goes on and on. The Icon Sting, The Undertaker, who we saw make a special appearance earlier tonight. Gunther looking to add his name to a list of legends here in Madison Square Garden. Crossface locked in on McIntyre. Seen some rare submission holds out of both of these guys' arsenals so far. Could be looking to throw each other off their game. Nice counter by Guther there. And a big time Death Valley driver. Laying out the world champion. And now on the middle rope, going for a splash. Nobody home. McIntyre controlled the first few minutes. Guther tried to take advantage. Now we're starting to see a little bit of a pendulum of a momentum swing. And McIntyre, holy hell! Belly to belly to the outside. Who other than the Scottish Warrior can send Guther for an amusement park ride like we just saw? Man, these guys are throwing live rounds and using each other's bodies. Oh my goodness, as, as Frisbees in this matchup, just throwing each other left to right. We said it earlier, this is King Kong versus Godzilla, and they are going hold for hold, strike for strike, throw for throw. And only superstars of this caliber, caliber, excuse me, will be able to absorb that kind of punishment that they are dishing out, let adrenaline flow through their veins, and keep fighting for the world championship. Speaks to the talents of both of these men at the absolute top of their game, the best in this business today. And Guther! Hunt and McIntyre off with that big time chop and now squashing the rib cage. Guther just taking the wind out of the sails of McIntyre right there. Sending the champion right into the corner. McIntyre starting to be dazed and confused to say the least. Fatigue starting to set in. These guys have really Done a number on each other, and that's gonna continue off the superplex, delivered by none other than the ring general. And Guther, not electing for a cover, realizes that McIntyre builds off momentum like a kick out this late in the matchup, realizes that Drew McIntyre rises like a phoenix when his back up against the wall. Guther not looking to allow McIntyre that window of opportunity. There's a reversal there, and a big time Saido dropping the champion on the crown of his head. Now Gunther on the tail of the champion. Not allowing any wiggle room right now. Continuing the offense on the outside, and wait a minute here, Gunther clearing off the announce table. Three weeks ago in Glasgow, Scotland, McIntyre's homecoming spoiled by the number one contender who's looking to repeat history tonight in the garden. McIntyre with other plans, trying to avoid disaster and a big boot by the contender. Luther heading inside the ropes, breaking the count momentarily and taking a breath after a physical altercation at ringside. These two heavyweights landing Louisville sluggers on each other. 
big boot moments ago. And now Gunther chasing down McIntyre, and the fight is on. A Pier 6 brawl in New York City, and I got wrenched by Drew. McIntyre looking to live to see 268 days as world champion, but he's got to get through Gunther tonight. McIntyre off the top. Oh my goodness, counter by Gunther. What a reversal there and a backbreaker. Who other than Guther is stopping the momentum mid-air like that by Drew McIntyre? And now, McIntyre's in trouble. Guther going for the sleeper hold. This submission has brought Guther nothing but success, but McIntyre not allowing, I don't think, a full clench. Breaking the hold momentarily. Not taking advantage, however. Guther going for a German. McIntyre counter. Guther now. The counter on McIntyre, and McIntyre cannot get going. Every time you see some signs of life out of the world champion, Guther takes the rug out from underneath him. The ring general did his homework. Front, back, up, and down has McIntyre seemingly figured out. Now putting the champion back on the top rope. Looking to send McIntyre's body into the wind once more. Oh no, look at this, double underhook, and Drew McIntyre down to the canvas. Now up against the ropes and a big boot, and McIntyre's lifeless body sent over the top rope. McIntyre is in trouble. The Scottish warrior, I don't think has ever had his back up against the wall like this. Guther not even going for a cover. He could have easily brought McIntyre back inside the ring and tried for a pin. He might have had him, but the ring general continuing the punishment on the Scottish Warrior. We're still not done. McIntyre sent ribcage first to the corner of the Spanish announce table. McIntyre's in deep trouble right now. Guther breaking the count. Clearly has something in mind on the outside of the ring. He cleared off this announce table a few moments ago. And the ring general has not forgotten. Oh, wait a minute here. Guther looking to repeat history for McIntyre's spoiled homecoming in Glasgow, Scotland. Power bomb through the announce table. We may be witnessing the dismantling of the Scottish Warrior, live and in living color. McIntyre sent through the announce table, and what does the champion have left? Guther going for a cover to win the World Heavyweight title. Oh, not just yet, McIntyre still alive. McIntyre, barely. You saw how lackadaisical the kick out was. Guther going for a drop kick. McIntyre avoid. Somehow the champion still in this match looking to do what he does best. Well, McIntyre got busted open at some point on the outside of the ring. The champion is no, literally seeing red right now. The triple suplexes on Guther. Drew trying to do what has made his championship reign so successful. Rise from the ashes when his back up is up against the wall and retain his world title. And McIntyre in the corner, sense of urgency out of the champion, Claymore, no, Guther, moved out of the way, Claymore misses wildly, and it's a boot to the already bloody skull by Guther, delivered to McIntyre. Oh my goodness, and now the bare knees to the beaten, battered skull of the world champion. A short, short sign of life. But the Claymore kick, which was clearly a sense of urgency strike by McIntyre, realizing he is in trouble, failed to deliver. And Guther is right back, seeking his beaten and broken prey on the outside of the ring. McIntyre unloads. Oh no, on the outside, big time German. With anything left in the tank, McIntyre is willing to risk it all, but Guther just has McIntyre's number right now. 
Oh no, now what? Hoisting McIntyre up for another power bomb on the apron. Oh my goodness. Swinging McIntyre like a Louisville sw swinger right into the steel underneath that apron. This is not good. McIntyre is in trouble. And I'll slammed up against the barricade. Guther is still inflicting punishment on what may be the most weakened state we have ever seen Drew McIntyre in. Again, back body drop on the barricade. Guther knows McIntyre has been in the worst situations and somehow survived. And he is trying to avoid that at all costs tonight. Guther broke the count. He's not done. McIntyre is basically lifeless on the outside, and Guther is ragdolling the world champion. Not again! Into the barricade for the third or fourth time in this match. McIntyre has got to find something within. He's got to dig down deep. He's got to kick into a second or third gear, if he even has it. It's now or never because McIntyre has never been in more trouble than he is right now. A lariat just sent McIntyre's head into the fifth row. Boot laces to the back. And now Guther. Oh no. Oh no. Guther going for the submission. Going for the chokehold. A sleeper locked in. If McIntyre passes out, if he taps out, it all comes crumbling down. The Scottish Warrior. It's now or never to survive. 267 days and counting as champion is on the line. Guther's got it locked in, but McIntyre breaks the hold. A reverse headbutt. Might have knocked Guther out. Going for the cover. Almost had him there. Man, how apropos would that would have been if Guther's own sleeper hold cost him. New York City in appreciation for Drew McIntyre's effort. However, Guther is still alive. Surviving, certainly not in this case, is not thriving for Drew McIntyre. And he is down, beaten, battered, bloody, and broken once more on the outside of the ring. And Guther, this son of a bitch, is not done. Oh, no. Power bomb on the apron. Excuse me, on the barricade. First on the apron, then the barricade, and the spine of Drew McIntyre may be snapped in two. Guther ragdolling McIntyre, sent inside the ring. And Guther may be moments away from ending this legendary reign or not just yet McIntyre somehow some way another reversal here squashing Guther in the corner the champions coming alive maybe we spoke too soon a counter by the ring general muscling up the champion again and just ragdolling him down to the canvas look at Guther look at this animal this late into the matchup, running full head of steam on a beaten, battered champion. And now with McIntyre in the air, breaking the shoulder of the champion. McIntyre's beaten, McIntyre's bloody, but is he broken? Guther with a last symphony and into the cover. It's over. The reign of the Scottish Warrior is over. 267 days leads to tonight's ultimate demise by the ring general, Guther. Here is your winner and new world heavyweight champion, A decisive statement making victory. Tonight in Madison Square Garden, 
a legend was promised to be born and so was that the 267 day reign of the scottish warrior drew mcintyre has come to an end and a broken absolutely beaten bloody fashion by the bare hands of the man we now call the new world heavyweight champion the ring general gunther has conquered drew mcintyre and sits on the throne of the kingdom on friday night smackdown On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a